Every year, as the first cool mornings begin to settle across your orchards, you stand on the edge of decisions that define the success of your entire operation. Apple harvest isn't merely a matter of timing crews and scheduling trucks. It's a complex engineering equation involving fruit physiology, mechanical systems, and careful logistical planning. If your goal is to maintain top packout rates and preserve the premium quality demanded by sophisticated markets, then each phase of your harvest from the tension on your picking belts to the calibration of your grading cameras must work in exact harmony. You already understand the economic stakes. Slight increases in bruise rates or minor delays in cooling can translate into thousands of dollars lost in downgraded fruit. That's why exploring the modern science and machinery behind apple harvesting isn't just interesting, it's essential to protecting your margins, sustaining your brand reputation, and future-proofing your orchard business in a global market that rewards consistent excellence. Fundamentally, harvesting apples at scale demands a precise balance between biological readiness and mechanical intervention. Apples, unlike climacteric fruits, such as bananas, complete much of their internal ripening on the tree. However, optimal harvest windows are typically determined by a suite of technical metric starch conversion indices, pressure tests for firmness, and soluble solids content that indicate sugar development. Relying purely on skin coloration can be misleading, especially in varieties prone to sunblush or where canopy microclimates create uneven pigment development. Using iodine staining to assess, starch hydrolysis provides a clear visual indicator of how much carbohydrate has transitioned into sugars, directly impacting eating quality and storability. Coupled with penetrometer readings that track firmness thresholds tailored to your target market be it immediate fresh sales or long-term controlled atmosphere storage you create a data-backed trigger for harvest that minimizes guesswork. Once this biological timing is confirmed, the machinery you deploy becomes the next critical factor shaping fruit quality. Traditional handpicking, while still common in many premium operations, is itself mechanized today through the use of hydraulic picking platforms. These self-propelled units elevate workers with stable, level controls even on mild slopes, drastically reducing ladder mishaps and enabling more precise placement of fruit into picking bags. This is not simply a convenience, minimizing vertical climbing reduces worker fatigue, allowing steadier handling of apples, which in turn lowers micro-bruising rates that might only show up days later on the pack line as skin depressions. For larger operations or where labor shortages dictate, semi-mechanical or fully mechanical harvesters become indispensable. Over-the-row harvesters for apples typically use a combination of gentle shaking arms and catching conveyors designed to emulate the natural drop force an apple would experience falling only a few inches. These systems require meticulous adjustment of vibration frequencies and amplitudes. If set too aggressively, they detach immature or overripe fruit, or worse, damage spur wood that is vital for next year's bud set. If too mild, they fail to dislodge optimally mature fruit, reducing throughput and raising per unit costs. Modern harvesters now integrate smart sensors that adjust these mechanical parameters in real time, scanning fruit density and stem strength characteristics, effectively customizing the shaking profile row by row. Once apples are detached, their immediate trajectory matters enormously. Catching conveyors and padded collection belts are designed with very specific modulus properties so they deform just enough to absorb kinetic energy without creating recoil that could bounce fruit against side walls. Even slight misalignments in belt tension or wear spots in conveyor padding can create localized impact zones that generate subcutaneous bruising. These internal cell ruptures are invisible at first but oxidize and brown in storage, leading to costly regrades or outright disposal. This is why rigorous pre-harvest machinery inspections often include not only mechanical checks but also drop tests with sample fruit monitored via accelerometer tags, quantifying g-forces throughout the collection path. Power systems across these machines must deliver steady, responsive energy without torque spikes that could translate into abrupt motions. Variable displacement hydraulic pumps paired with load sensing valves are the standard here, providing finely tuned pressure control even under fluctuating loads as conveyors fill unevenly with fruit. Neglecting routine hydraulic fluid analysis to track contamination or viscosity changes risks delayed actuator response times, producing jerky starts and stops that ripple through the entire handling system. 
Equally, thermal management of hydraulic circuits through properly sized coolers and flow-optimized hose routing prevents heat-induced thinning that undermines consistent pressure delivery. At the point of transfer to bins or bulk trailers, the engineering focus shifts again. Bin fillers incorporate telescoping spouts or rotating soft surface paddles that distribute apples evenly to minimize piling. Excessive drop heights, even from as little as 18 inches onto hardening fruit masses below, significantly increase the risk of lenticel damage as subtle skin bruising around the natural pore structures that only becomes apparent under storage humidity. Advanced systems now use ultrasonic rangefinders to sense fill levels, adjusting spout extension dynamically to keep fruit transfer under carefully calculated drop thresholds. For you, maintaining these sensors in peak calibration is not a trivial task. Dust fouling or small lens misalignments can skew readings, creating inconsistent fill patterns that compromise fruit integrity. Environmental variables compound all these mechanical risks. During harvest windows, early morning dew or light rains increase slip coefficients on picking belts, requiring careful adjustments in conveyor speed and angle. Conversely, hot, Dry afternoons accelerate moisture loss from the fruit, shrinking lenticels and making skin more susceptible to cracking under mechanical stress. Many operators now stage harvest by time of day, targeting cooler, humid conditions to mitigate dehydration. Likewise, field pack stations equipped with misting arches stabilize fruit temperature and humidity before bin consolidation, delaying the onset of metabolic softening. Every phase of this operation is interconnected and the costs of oversight multiply quickly. A slightly underpowered hydraulic circuit on a picking platform might seem inconsequential, but if it results in jerky vertical adjustments, it causes pickers to inadvertently knock fruit against metal railings. Minor damage that escapes detection at loading often amplifies in transit vibrations or manifests under low oxygen storage conditions as core browning. This chain reaction underscores why disciplined, engineering-minded harvest management is not just about maximizing throughput, it's about sustaining fruit quality that meets beer specifications months after the orchard gates close.